I just got a $2.7 million write-off on my taxes by only putting down $350,000. And on this video, I'm gonna show you how I did it and how you can do it too. All right, I know this is a real estate channel, but today we're gonna talk about airplanes. As you guys probably know, I flew for the Navy for a long time and I've flown my own airplane for the last four years. This year, I bought an airplane for $2.7 million. I got a loan from a bank for almost all of that, 2.35 million to be exact. And all I had to do was put down $350,000. But because of bonus depreciation, I had the ability to write off 100% of that purchase, even though I borrowed 2.35 million. And I know you guys have heard me talk about apartment buildings and syndications, but this is 100% my tax deduction and my write-off. And I can use all of it against my business. So if I use this plane for 100% business expense, I can write it all off this year on my taxes. Now in 2023, that's gonna be an 80% write off. In 2024, it's gonna be a 60% and it's gonna go down 20% every year after that until it gets to zero. So I encourage you guys to look into this and I'm gonna talk in more detail about this today. But bonus depreciation combined with a section 179 deduction can allow you to write off massive amounts of depreciation on your taxes against your business. That means cars and things like this, airplanes. So. An airplane, let's talk about that for a second. I'm a pilot, so I bought an airplane that I could fly. And I can fly the single pilot, I can go wherever I want for business, I can go to our mastermind meetings, I can go to different events, I can go on trips, and I can write it all off against business. Now, a lot of people say, well, Bill, I'm not a pilot, why would I ever buy an airplane? Even if you're not a pilot, you can still buy an airplane and write it off on your taxes. Here's how you can do it. You can buy a plane and you can charter it. So you can actually just buy the plane and put it in a charter system where they fly it, they run it for you, they do everything, and you can block off times that you would use it, just like an Airbnb that you would have. So you can actually buy it, break even, or even make money on a charter service, especially in today's market right now. So I'd highly encourage you looking into that. The other option is you can buy it and dry lease it out. So you can actually like lease it out like you would on Turo kind of but you would lease it out to somebody else who has a pilot who would fly your airplane. The other way obviously is like me, where I'm an operator owner, where I own an airplane and I can fly it where I wanna go. And on top of that, I can also charter my plane and I can dry lease the plane. So there's lots of different options that I have. What I want you to think about with all this is a plane is just an item, an asset, something that you bought that you can write off in bonus depreciation if you use it for your business. Just like if you bought a vehicle, I made a video in the past on section 179 deductions and how you can buy pickup trucks, Tesla Model Xs, SUVs, and write them off on your taxes using the section 179 deduction. Go check out that video if you wanna see more about that. But an airplane can be used in the same way. This is the same bonus depreciation that you would see in an apartment building. So if you bought an apartment building yourself, raised all the capital and kept 30% of the building as an example, all that could be depreciated against your taxes. Now the cool thing about the airplane is, I got the loan, I put down the down payment, I have no other partners, and I get 100% of the depreciation. Not only that, the apartment building gets a cost segregation done, so somewhere between 25 and 40% of the building gets depreciated. So like an apartment building in a syndication, you do a cost segregation, and whatever comes back in year one, you can bonus depreciate this year, just like that. The cool thing about an airplane is, I don't have to do a cost segregation. I can actually bonus depreciate 100% of the cost of the airplane in year one, which is basically unheard of in any other investment. So I hope that you guys are thinking more about why you should look into airplanes and leave a comment on here if you need a broker to help you find one, if you have more questions, if you uh, are unsure what this all means, just ask me. I'm more than willing to talk to you. I have a lot of friends that I've talked to over the past few months since I came up with this decision to buy a plane for myself that have been figuring out how they can buy one in their business name as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified, leave me a comment, and uh, I'll tell you more about this on future videos or in the comments. So let me tell you a little bit about my airplane. It's a 2010 TBM 850. So it's got 850 shaft horsepower. It can go up to 31,000 feet and do about 310 knots, which is close to 360 miles an hour. Amazing machine. We just got down to Orlando and back in about an hour and 45 minutes each way. Absolutely incredible. I bought this plane for $2.7 million. And the great part about it is I got a loan for that at 2.35 million over 20 years, just like a house in 16 hours. I've never heard of that in my apartment investing, my house buying career. The airplane market is wild with loans. Everybody wants to lend you money. I got a referral from a friend down in Texas, called him up. 
I gave him my information, my last few tax returns, um, a P&L statement from me, and he called me the next day and said, I, I can finance 2.35 million if you can put $350,000 down. And that got me a $2.7 million write-off on my taxes. Absolutely unbelievable. One of the easiest, smoothest processes I've ever been through in financing in my entire career over the past about 10 years. That's why I would encourage you guys to look into this as an option for you, if it makes sense. The massive amount of depreciation that can be had here with very little money up front is something that I've never seen before. So if you can utilize it correctly, it makes 100% sense to see if that works for you. the result that I was looking for was to buy this airplane that I envisioned. I could see it in the hangar. There's a picture of it in my mind, exactly what it is. It was this vision jet in a hangar sitting there. And the interesting thing when I get to this point of seeing the result and envisioning it, just like you're doing right now for your first deal, your next deal, the amount of money that you want to make, the vacation you want to take, whatever it is, it doesn't always go exactly as planned as you start taking action, seeing results, changing your beliefs, and changing your potential. It doesn't always go that way. You get new information, you get new things. So for me, I could see this Cirrus Vision Jet in my hangar, and that was the thing. For three months, I was looking for that plane. I was making offers. I was trying to figure out how to buy one. I got an offer accepted and the guy backed out a couple days later. It was it felt like disaster, failure, failure, failure. And then the prices were going up and I was getting frustrated. And I said, you know what? I need to regroup. I'm gonna look at five different airplanes. They're all gonna be great for my mission and what I wanna do. And I, and I had the opportunity to fly in a friend's uh, airplane. It was a TBM 850. And I flew in his airplane. And I tell you what, after that flight, I said, whoa, this, airplane would be amazing. I had the opportunity to fly in a vision jet and now in the TBM 850 and I said, these are both amazing machines. I would love both, either one of these. And frankly, the TBM 850 made more sense for me. So what I did in my, in my flying time, in my buying the airplane, that story, is I ended up with the TBM 850. So not the exact airplane that I envisioned in my head in that hangar, but the perfect airplane for me over time that I learned, I adapted, I adjusted, and I kind of tweaked this thing, right? I tweaked my cycle. And it doesn't matter that it's not the exact picture side by side of what I imagined. Because right now, I just closed on this airplane. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. I just want to fly it every single day. And my goal has been achieved. But it doesn't look the exact same. So for you, whatever you're envisioning, whatever you're seeing for your business or your life, just know that as you fast forward two months, three months, six months, a year from now, it might look a little bit different, but you're gonna be exactly where you need to be and exactly where you're supposed to be. So don't get so stuck, and I think that's what I did. I got so stuck that this is the only plane for me, this is the only thing for me, I'm only gonna look for this, that I wasn't willing to kind of just tweak it a little bit. And where I ended up now, I, I personally kind of wish I ended up there a few months earlier because it would have been cheaper, frankly, the prices have gone up, but I would have gotten there a little bit faster, but I know, I know that God works in a certain way, I know that my timing is just right for a reason, I know all this stuff. And so I'm incredibly happy with where I am right now. And for you, what I want you to get from this is just to know that if you don't end up exactly where you thought you were gonna be, it's exactly where you're supposed to be and it's okay to be a little bit off from that because things change over time and you'll have to tweak it a little bit. I hope this was helpful for you. If it is, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it with a friend, and uh, I'll keep bringing the stuff like this to you guys on this channel. See you next time.